Chat with me. Hi. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. So for our first event as the COO and executive chef of Mad Chef Tampa, hello and welcome. And first and foremost, thank you very much. In terms of the selection of sushi you get to have for today, you have a spicy tuna roll, both with white and brown rice, California roll with white and brown rice, a roasted vegetable roll with miniature baby squash, roasted asparagus, and king trumpet mushrooms. So a nice delectable delight. A little bit for you, a little bit for you, a little bit for you. Today's class is Sushi 102. We have tuna, salmon, and super jumbo lump blue crab. And everything else is Asian. See, all right. So you can choose to your heart content how you want to do this. But the first rule is getting your hands wet. Any excess in which you have, get it on your neighbor. So what you have next to you is also a little bit of seaweed or, or nori or algae. If you pick one up, you have two sides, guys. You have a, a shiny side and a rough side. The rough side should face towards you. There are two things you can do. You can pick the white rice or the brown rice. You're gonna grab a baseball size of rice. Push and pull the rice across. Push and pull. Once you've had your rice pad, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna flip your pad over. Just know that you only can add up to two, maybe three ingredients. The width should be about two fingers. So whatever you put in cannot exceed the amount of two fingers, of your own fingers. Anybody else care for some salmon? All right. Just like wrapping a burrito, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna put this to the last inch of your rolling mat. Slightly, gently hold everything down and pick up the bottom of your makisu or your bamboo mat. Put your hands on top of your ingredients so they stay put. So you roll it over and make sure you still have a seam. Like that. What you wanna do is pick up your knife very slowly, very carefully, knives are very sharp. Make sure you're, again, your seam is on the bottom. So you're gonna dip only the tip of your knife into the water, and then you smack the bottom, okay? So repeat. Start in the middle. You don't wanna apply pressure down. You just wanna make a saw action. Put your two halves together, and then with these two halves again, guys, let's go ahead and keep going in the halves until you have eight beautifully cut pieces. So now, folks, you are done with roll number one. Plates are right there. Super, super easy. If you're gonna use the cucumber, you do not need the makisu or the rolling mat. Let's take one piece of tuna that I gave you, and one piece of salmon. At this point, you can add a piece of cucumber, a piece of asparagus, or a piece of roasted vegetables or mushrooms. All you have to do at this point, ladies and gentlemen, you just roll it up. How's it look? Beautiful, ladies. So good. That, all right, give yourselves a round of applause. Good job. Go ahead and wash your hands, take your plate, and you guys can eat. Enjoy. You have sauces and condiments right behind you. How is everything? Excellent. So awesome. Where are you so for the surf and turf roll, very, very simple, guys. We have our rice. We have our little bit of crab meat, asparagus. And as you see, I don't need the makasu quite yet because I want to tighten it up at the end. This is a uh, tenderloin, folks. Tighten them together up. Okay. Voila. So they say that the necessity is the father of innovation. Well. I can't cook it, right? So I got fire. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I really hope to see you guys again soon. Have a wonderful night and be safe.